So welcome to Specs DC. We're down at Emminfield Old Colliery. And this place has got such an amazing history in the past. It's absolutely wonderful to be in here. We've been let in by the friends of Emminfield Colliery. It's an absolutely amazing place. And how long have you been doing this, young man? So I've been here maybe six months now. Yeah. So no time compared to the rest of them, but it's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. incredible. History on it's fantastic. Yeah, it? yeah. Um, it's nice to see it from inside. That's the 1840 winding house. So that building there, just there, yeah. 1840 winding house, original one. That's the one, the building to the side, the lean, used to be a lean to where the drum used to be for the winding engine. Right. In fact, the drum still is. It's been repurposed. Right. But that were enclosed in the 1930s. Oh. Come to its current state. Fantastic. There's so this, much history in there. Yeah, this headgear is 1940. 1940. It's concrete head, it's never wound coal. See that building there, you're saying it's a shower block and that, you that won't block. know until you go in. That block shower. It looked like this in 1940, when it was converted um, it had all electric pump control equipment in it. Ah, oh, brilliant. But originally it was a fan house. Right. Fitzwilliams engineer Byron had experimented with fan ventilated coal mines right back in 1840. Mm. This used to be the over manager's office. The reason why it's here where it's here is it all coal came out of that hole. Ah, right. Nothing gets out without over management. Right. What will have stand for is inside. Why did they knock this down then? It went in twenties. Oh did it? Oh, okay. Last coal came out of here in May 1920. Right. And it became a pumping station, which is why it's still here. There were mining going on east, yeah. but water runs east. Right. So you've got to pump water out at lower seams, back to the surface, stop it getting into your deep seams. Right. So Amazing, isn't it? How the Cotton Wood's only a mile away, or was. I've got, uh, I've got a lovely receipt from Elton Domain, um, paid for by Elvis William. Brilliant. Back in the 20s, it was for a truckload of carrots. Right. But ponies. Amazing. A wagon full of carrots just for corners. Amazing. So, we've got the manager's building over there, where office was, all the manager. And just here, used to be where boiler house is. So many times I've been going to call in and just not had time. I've yeah, yeah. been kicking me, son. Watch yourself and it's Right. Carefully, darling. <clears throat> Get this. Oh, look at that, man. This was the rescue shaft, and then later became the pumping shaft. So, originally, when they were sinking sides, yeah. they could have. So, they had to sink this shaft and put that building up with an engine in, like the new coming engine. Alright, and pump it out. Engine came from Ketchup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you should do. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Like that. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. No worries. That's brilliant. 
when you're passing that road you don't know all this is here no you don't you don't you just think oh it's an old, well, old winding thing yeah. yeah look at that try not to drop my phone now Gravity winding load. Look, you've got iron sockets. That's where frame for the old beam engine. Beam engine used to rest. I wish, you know, I wish it was still here. <laughs> long gone, long, long gone. I do I wish it was still here? Nearly 100 years ago. Some of the places we yes, yeah. some places we go and you just wish you could press a button and go back hundred years and just they can't see you but you can see them. Yeah. It's astonishing that this is still standing. So. It is. It, it is. It's a credit to yourselves, volunteers for doing this and keeping it going. It's it's heritage, isn't it? That's a rescue wire. Oh my god, look at that. that were fully intact ten years ago. I'm going to touch it. Scrap thief broken and picked up motor off the gearbox. That's disgusting. Look at this angle. Yeah, that's your handbrake. Still works. Stand up bottom. That's it. Put all your weight on it. Hopefully, you can hold it. You see. Yeah, yeah. I'm not strong enough. It just levers. Levers jammed up on it. That's all. So, what you normally have to do is you put your weight on, pull it, and then yeah. lever should be sprung loaded. Right. So you normally do that, lever latch in like that, lock itself in. Just look at this beauty. Everybody, just look at this beauty. This is down at Emminfield Colliery. Preserved for posterity by these lovely people that's looking after this place. That's amazing. Absolutely made up with that. Mm. Look at that under the air. Uh, I love machinery, mate. I love machinery. Look at this. That's the only one of those still known to exist. Anybody knows about. And what is that? Called a Melling Circular Type Overspeed Control. Wow, that's, that's an awful. Put you in the 20s. Wow, look at that. That's when they converted from steam wine into electric. And there is your engine room. Repurposed. Be careful, mates. Look at that. Look at cogs on this. My God, can you see? Got to stand on this board. Right. It dips a little bit. <clears throat> oh my god, so that would need your power motor that somebody's helped themselves to. Good. How do they know about these things? They broke in about 10 or so years ago before we owned it. Stole do you know if you hadn't done that, they'd have been out here, would they? No, if we'd have not bought it. Yeah. Probably end up getting burnt down by kids. Yeah. We've seen a lot of that, haven't we? Neat. A lot of things have been burnt down. So, you know. Um, Oh, break, we're intact, all that's been damaged. Just look at this thing. It is restorable. Do you know, it feels like it's alive. Great, isn't it? It's like it's sleeping or something. But it's just waiting. Yeah. I've never seen all like that, ever. I mean, we've seen machinery in some of the places we go. This is where the beam engine used to live. So this floor we'll put in at 20s, and they took the beam engine out. Yeah, you can't really see down there, it's just an undercroft now. Yeah. It's where part of the original steam engine used to be. Oh, God. I'm just speechless. Absolutely um, speechless. That big iron beam is where the beam itself used to rot. There, yeah. Yeah, fantastic, man. That's part of the original steam engine. Wow, oh, God. Just to see it, it's... That's so cool. That steam engine's been gone 97 years. And this bit's still here? Yeah. Because it's part of the building. It feels like it's still here to me. It's like... 
can see it. Like light switch. This one. Uh -huh. Turns left and right. Light switch still works. Still works. Wow. That's fantastic. I always left it on. Probably about 80 year old. My God, man. I've never seen it like that either. Not in working order anyway. It is. You looked after it well. It's an old amazing thing. Compressor. Old air compressor. Right. Look at this little door. Let's see if we go out to overspeed controller. Overspeed controller. Machine strap corner. Oh yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm just getting everywhere now. What an amazing thing this is. You can get around the corner if you. Oh, look at this. This is like a breathing thing. This machine, it's like it's asleep. Yeah. It's just waiting to start up again. Look <laughs> at that beam. I'm just trying to imagine it running. That noise it would make. Right. Reason why that's that. That's the same distance tub rail is underground. Right. And this is where they used to repair pumps. So if you look, the bench is made of concrete. Yeah. Pit props. All oh, right. And tub rail. And you see, there's a lifting eye just inside the doorway. Oh yeah, yeah. That shaft. So up. when they need to maintain electric pumps, they bring them up shaft. Right. Wheel them to here and swing them onto the bench already on the little dolly. <sighs> To repair an up and down bench. So they had it all sorted, didn't they, in them uh -huh. days? Look at that old spanner, man. Like touching history, it's amazing. You can feel it like going through me, sort of thing. Fantastic place. I'm trying to remember, well, not remember, but think how it would have sounded when it were working. Noisy. I would imagine you'd have to have an ear, uh, ear protectors on in here. You've two steam engines engine working, one in here. Yeah, and one the other side. Really, yeah. You've two boiler houses, one here and an high pressure wire at the bottom, two chimneys. Fan. I'd, I'd have loved Another to see it. Another steam engine in top building working for fan. Right. I would have loved to have seen it working. It's, uh, May 1920, last call came out. Look at that. That's uh, fantastic. I'd like to know who worked in here, do you know what I mean? Who well, we, well, they were. Me. Sorry? We know some people turned up that said I worked here. All oh, right. In latter years, in the 70s. Yeah. Look at these little doors, I can't get out of little doors, me. Well, obviously, you wouldn't have used them because there were a door there. Yeah. Right. The door oh, there. yeah, they'd have come through up main door, wouldn't they? Of course. Of course they would. Just to access to get to the back. This is absolutely fantastic. Tragedy in here linked to Oaks disaster. Yeah. So there was a young lad who lost his dad and his two brothers in Oaks disaster. Yeah. His mother come to Ford to keep him. And his uncle, what engine manager here, when it was still coal mine, yeah. used to run steam engineer. So he came to live with his uncles. And he'd been here about six weeks and he was playing. This used to be a little platform up level with beam engine like Newcomen. Right, yeah. This floor weren't here, so it was another, you can stand up against it with that distance again. Right. And he was playing up here and he fell and fell to his death. Oh. Yeah. So she'd now lost all the sons and her husband. 
Dad used to work. He used to work for Corbwood, and then he worked for Elsie Hermitage. Oh, what yeah. do you reckon to safety and rail then for staircase? Yeah, look how steep they were. Oh Jesus. God, yeah. That's handrail. Oh my! I never even noticed. Upstairs it used to go. And Blimey. Them safety rails on platform still. Oh yeah, we just could walk along. And all this then had a floor either side of the beam, so you could get up and oil it. That's history there, sense. right there, isn't it? Can you imagine how steep they were? When you go and see mm. Newcomen. Yeah, yeah. But this is a really unusual engine. So this is a, a, what's called a vertical binding engine. Right. So if you imagine, your pistons hit the wall there, and your piston here. Yeah. And you have on rock, push it up, and rock your beam. Yeah. There's a beam up here on bearings. Right. Your connecting rod is the other end of the beam. Right. Which connects to a crank to your pulley. Right. Now, normally on vertical winding engines like this, mm. your drum would be up at high level in the next room, so it would be right up there. God, right. Up at high level. Well, this is a low level drum, right. as you would get on an horizontal winding engine. So it's right on the changeover between using vertical winders and horizontal winders. Right. So it's a bit of both technology. That's fantastic. Which is why, one reason why this is now a scheduled monument. Ah, brilliant. So in this valley, you have three scheduled monuments now. You have this, you have an engine, and ironworks to get this a scheduled monument. Ah, brilliant. So it's got same what does that actually mean, it's scheduled monument? It's now got the same protection under the Laura Stone end. Oh, blimey. In fact, that's brilliant. this has got more protection than Woodhouse. Oh, blimey. So Woodhouse is grade one star, this is. Yeah. And then there's only one above one star in that scheduled monument. And that's what this monument. is. Pump House Cottage is two oh, star. Man. The reason why that's not a bad monument is because you can't live in a monument. Right. So this has got the highest level of protection under law. The rocky motion that would be caused between these two beams. Yeah. Would have connected through to this. All right. Which would have. Um, we'll get John's line. I can see it. Yeah. yeah um, and then you know in turn yeah. through that. All these cogs turn each other up. Yeah. Yeah. Like gears. Like tiny, then tiny that gears. Runs through to the um, to the engine at the other side. Yeah. Amazing. Quite strangely, this <clears throat> engine that's on the other side of this wall used to be flat rope. All right. Yeah. So I'll show you in a second, and there's actually a square in the wall okay. because um, there would be so much movement in the rope because it was flat reeled. Right. Um, that. A normal rope, for example, on the other winder, right. uh, will just coil and coil and coil. Mm -hmm. and it won't have to move. But the flat, uh, there was so much movement between the lowest point when there's no rope on barrel. Yeah. So it being fully stocked, that it just easy gets tangled. I would imagine. Yeah, it must have. We've mm. got I'll shine torch for you, Nate, so we don't. I said earlier, I've been here about six months, but I love it. Yeah, but I bet you love it, don't you? Yeah. You're doing an amazing job. <laughs> <laughs> Just be careful, because they're narrow. It feels like a living thing to me, this. You can, I wish I could hear it running. <laughs> yeah, 100, 150 years ago, you can imagine, can't you? Like, yeah, all noise. Tick. We've just been saying to Glenn, when it first starts up and then there's two steam engines working, two boiler houses. Yeah, the noise must have been. Be I mean, monumental. Yeah. Where I've just been showing you that brickwork. Yeah. That would have been a wooden shed at some point. Okay. Um, and then when this second shaft got built is when they put the stone in. So this is second shaft. And then this would have hurt, we think, roughly, you know, mm. as it was turned into a pumping house more than anything, as it were a pumping station, that this brickwork would have, would have been put in early 20s, maybe. Look at these stairs, even them. Trying to picture those walked up and down them. That's 
Ah, oh, dude. There's a gnome here. There's a gnome. I found a gnome. <laughs> a bit of roofing. So these metal poles would have been an original foundation that would have been a, so it'd have been a platform. So it'd have been two sets of stairs. Up. To go up, yeah. yeah. And then quickly, I thought I'd point out. You can see the archway at the back. Oh yeah. That's original for yeah. getting the pump oh, that's in good. and out. That's brilliant. Look at that. And then that would have been the original main entrance at one point as well, this green gate. So much to see, you don't even think it's here, do you? Well, and railway, it's really close. Just look at it, man. Steady. I'll get a squiggle on. Oops, I just broke. Be, be careful. It's usually me that falls over, to be honest. Doesn't it look good? Yeah. It, look, it looks right good. So this is an old pumping house? It is, yes. Look uh, at tiles. It's really difficult to really get any sort of interior. Yeah. Just because it, it's been modernised into a dwelling. Yeah. I mean, that's probably the most entertaining part of it. <laughs> I'd love an open fire, me. We don't get this anymore, this stuff. Look at that. Look at that map. Yes, uh, this is the Great Central Railway Company and it just shows you, you know, the connections. Well, it tells what year this is. John Bartholomew and Company, Edinburgh. I'm not too sure quite about what year it'd be. Not a problem. But it does show you, you know, it's the main railways and it just shows you, mm. for example, in Rotherham, you yeah. know, you've got Low Stubbing, Elsica, Elsica Low. So this was Elsica Low before Hemingfield. Right. You know, and yeah, then this yeah. connects up to Wath. And this would have gone overseas from Hull and Grimsby. Tried to wonder how many people have been here. And um, who they were, how they looked. Yeah, well, I, I might have got a few to make sure. Oh. Yeah, we've got a lot. Let me jump. See, so this is the main issue we've got right now is uh, yeah, yeah. pulling away from the original stone, oh, right. this extension. Right. It can be saved though, can't it? Yeah, yeah, it's just getting the funding, unfortunately. Oh, of course. Does, does lottery give you help? Like, yeah, yeah. A uh, lottery grab. You've got to request it and do the right things in the right amount of time to get a certain amount of money. Of course, yeah. Look at that decay. It's amazing how nature just takes it all back or tries to. Yeah. Nature finds a way. Yeah, she does. Been so many places where there's trees coming through windows. We had a bath like this. In my council house a long, long time ago. You've got a good memory. I have, thank you. <laughs> There's always one in there. Get all tiles, plain tiles. Plain white tiles. Well, I'm James and this is neat. I don't know if I introduced this. Uh, no, you didn't. My name's Mitchell. It's a pleasure to meet you, mate. Pleasure to Hi, meet you as well. You'll probably hear your voice on the video. Oh, that's more than fine by me. Are you sure? Yeah. We're... A lot of people don't like it, do they? And, but some do, some don't. Well, me, you I'm know, we're hoping to set his own YouTube channel up at some point anyway. Ah, great. So, you know, with just a quick 10, 15 minute film, what we've done for a weekend. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, so. That's a that be good. Probably. Get Fantastic. Yeah. On video. Right. <laughs> oh. Yeah, of course. I love my voice, as you know, unfortunately.